Pat McAfee has done a commendable job in growing his eponymous program. The sports-centric conversations with his co-hosts and their interviews gave them a massive following, bringing them to platforms like DAZN and SiriusXM's Mad Dog Sports Radio. However, joining ESPN's roster of shows has been the crowning glory for McAfee and his crew. Bringing them from online media sensations to every television in the United States. They're getting serious money, too, because the New York Post's Andrew Mark Han reported that McAfee will receive $17 million annually from his ESPN contract. The streak of shows they've done throughout their inception will end starting February 19th. Their followers don't have to fret, though, because it's not a permanent hiatus. Instead, it's a scheduled break, as tweeted by ESPN Public Relations. Apart from McAfee, his fellow sports fans turned co-hosts have become household names in sports media. But with the scheduled break, they will air new episodes starting March 4 from noon to p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN and noon to 3 p.m. ET on ESPN Plus and YouTube. The show will return to its regular weekday broadcasts before the 2024 NFL league year starts on March 13. But before that day, reports about potential free agent signings and salary cap casualties will swirl, proving that NFL coverage is a year-round cycle. The Pat McAfee show started on Sept. 9, 2019 on the Westwood One Radio Network. Its gradual success brought the program to CBS Sports Radio, Sirius XM, and now to ESPN. They have maintained a YouTube channel with close to 2.5 million subscribers. The program airs on weekdays from noon to 3 p.m. ET from an Indianapolis, Indiana location, affectionately called the Thunderdome. McAfee conducted exclusive interviews with four-time NFL Most Valuable Player Aaron Rodgers on Tuesdays throughout the NFL season. While getting the quarterback's commitment strengthened McAfee's clout, he later revealed that he pays Rodgers for his appearances. Coincidentally, Rodgers has been the focal point of some controversial moments within the show. Apart from propagating false information about vaccines, Rogers also accused late-night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel of allegedly being a visitor to convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein's island.